My name is Mark Benfield. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences at Louisiana State University, and I direct the Serpent Project in the Gulf of Mexico, or Gulf Serpent. We were conducting a survey as part of the Gulf Serpent Project with an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle, and we were just uh, at a new depth, 1,500 feet. We were going to start out on a survey, and we saw this bright, shiny object, which resembled uh, some of the riser, and we thought perhaps the uh, drilling operations on the surface were lowering down another section of riser for some reason. But as we zoomed in on it, we could see that, in fact, it was a fish, and it was this enormous oarfish. An oarfish is a uh, large, probably the largest uh, bony fish in the ocean. The oarfish lives in the mesopelagic zone, which is between 200 and 1,000 meters depth. And what you see in this video is a riser or an oil pipe uh, that contains the drill bit and the pipe to carry oil from a deep sea oil rig. That's on the left side. On the right side, you see uh, part of the oarfish. Uh, we're still trying to estimate its size, but based on the dimensions of the riser, which is about a meter across, we think that this fish is between 5 and 10 meters in length. So as we approached the fish, the fish turned to face us head first and tilted at about a 45 degree angle and then started to retreat away from the ROV. So as we approached it, it retreated down, tail first, uh, in a vertical orientation, and propelled itself using undulations of its dorsal fin. And uh, we followed this fish for about five minutes, and it uh, went down almost 100 feet. This is the first time that, that as far as I know, um, we've actually observed this species in the mesopelagic zone in you know, apparently healthy condition. When people see them near the surface, they're usually dead or dying individuals that have come up into the shallows. And they appear to be, you know, perhaps the origin of the sea serpent legend, because if you look at some of these videos of these things in distress condition in surface waters, they actually swim with part of their head out of the water, and you can see the, the fin rays sticking out, you know, it looks like spines. Um, you can imagine how someone could have mistaken them for a large reptile of some sort.